There's major change happening in this country right now. I know it because in the last few days since I was threatened with jail for the crime of journalism, I have been inundated with messages of support from all around this country and from all around the world. And some of the biggest platforms have been in touch with me, some of the biggest voices in the truth movement, the real truth movement that's being suppressed. They have been in touch to say, what is going on in Ireland? The judiciary, the political elite, Angar the Siakana, every institution of the state. What is going on? And it's got to stop. Ireland is now at the centre of the, the, I suppose, we all know that there are terrible things happening all over the world, but Ireland seems to be now to be seen in a league of its own. But let me tell you, we are putting the brakes <laughs> on this corruption. We really are putting the brakes on this corruption because they did not have the courage to jail me today. They no. did not have the courage. And the three detectives that came to arrest me at my home on Wednesday, I know that all of them that were involved in that, including RTE, that sat and tried to portray me as some sort of criminal involved in harassment, they're all getting very, very frightened and very ashamed of what they're involved in. Saudi show they know. Saudi show they know. Shame on them. Shame on them. The Irish people have had enough. We saw the other night on prime time, even in RTE, where they hand pick their um, they hand pick the audience when they were asked. Does it, do any of you here support the EU migrant pact? Not one hand went up, not one. And they are representative of the most woke part of the population. Mm -hmm. So yeah. mm -hmm. that is reflective of the mood on the ground. Every one of you who came here today, let me tell you that you are battling, you are saving this country because I could not do that on my own. I couldn't. If I was on my own in there today, they would have sent me away. They would have taken me to Mount Joy and I might not have been seen again for a while, like Enoch Burke. And I support Enoch Burke because I've had some issues with that case because I hate the idea that a young man is, uh, you know, unfortunately losing your precious years of his life. It's different. I'm much older than him and I've had my career and this is a very serious crime in relation to silencing journalism. But unfortunately Enoch is left in there and he's rotting away as a young man and it is absolutely <coughs> disgraceful and he should be released. He should be released. Absolutely. But you see yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he has no violent intent. And he should be allowed to go back and do his job. So people are getting sick and tired, the wider public. And today we put manners on those powerful gowns in there. They think that they put on their fancy dress, the same with these people in these fluorescent jackets. They put on their fancy dress every single morning and that gives them the power to abuse us who pay their wages. We who are their masters, they serve us. That's why we call them public servants. But they have stopped serving us. And when they stop serving us, the social contract ends. They no longer have any power over us. Now, we gladly say that if Angar the Shiakana return to being our servants, to using resources to go and investigate real criminals, not to use your taxes to come to the home of a journalist and take her away in an unmarked car. Shock. This yeah. is an unbelievably dark day. And this also stems back to the fact that another journalist who was attending court several decades ago, when she was returning home from court, we know what happened to her. Yes. Yeah. We know what happened to Veronica Gearham. And because I said that the state 
had questions to answer in relation to her murder, her brother has been harassing me in these courts for almost six years. And that case begins again on Tuesday, that pantomime. So they're trying to wear me out with these farcical court actions, lawfare, not warfare, lawfare. But let me tell you, they're not going to wear me out because I will continue to fight them until we get this corruption under control. Another innocent man, Aaron Brady, is, t is today locked up in Port Leash Prison. Yesterday, falsely accused of being involved in a tendency to pervert the course of justice. What he was doing was perverting the course of injustice because his crime, his latest crime, is that he recorded a video of a Garda interview whereby the Garda, Mark Phillips, detective, one of the gang that was involved in my arrest the other day, detectives, all plain clothes, he was involved in intimidation and coercion of a witness. Aaron Brady knew what was happening in that interview was corruption. And he took a video of it to clear his name so that he could be reunited with his young son, his wife, his parents, his family. And he has been done for the perversion of the course of justice. Outrageous. Aaron Brady is innocent. Enoch Burke is innocent. As are you. I am innocent. All of you are innocent. They want to criminalize any of us that stand against <clears throat> mass immigration, that stand against state corruption, that stand against big pharma, that stand against fake news media. They want, that's why they've all their guards here today, to criminalize all of us. So I'm asking you to please do not lose hope. This is a massive achievement today. They're too afraid to jail me because they know if they jail me, the repercussions are going to be massive Absolutely. for Connor Dignam, for all of these people, and for the people up in Leinster House who are no doubt getting orders from their external masters to carry on this charade today. Because no doubt he was on the phone getting his orders, that judge, from Leinster House. So please, I want you to leave here feeling this is a great day. We've achieved an awful lot. Well, We're getting this on. Go out to the courtyard and have a cup of coffee. Well done. Well done. Praise the Lord. Well done. Thank you. Yeah.